The family of a New Jersey woman is devastated and heartbroken in grief today. Linda Daniels died hours after her power company shut off her service. Daniels' family says it happened on the hottest day of the year. The 68-year-old grandmother relied on an oxygen machine to stay alive, but the machine stopped working after the disconnection. I didn't know that because the lights went off that she would suffer the way that she did. And we were getting ice and we would put ice on her, fanning her, trying to make it cool, but we couldn't pump the oxygen. We send them the minimum at least $300 every month. Uh, the prior month was $300, uh, last month was $400, this month I gave them $500. And they still um, cut off the, the utilities. I think, you know, uh, my mom would have probably still been alive today if the electric didn't get cut off. Imagine how they're feeling. The local power company PSE and G says Daniels owed them nearly $2,000. However, it said it would have followed state procedures and accommodated her needs had they known about her medical issues. The entire time, the family was calling PSE and G. One representative kept telling me to stop calling. There were way too many tickets in the system. Pleading with someone to turn the power back on. PSE and G said, oh, we're on our way. They kept telling us that, but no one showed up. Desiree says as required, her mom's medical equipment was registered with the utility company. Linda had fallen behind in payments. There was a balance of about $1,800 in May, but as this bill shows, the family was sending in money. Desiree says two days before Linda died, $500. PSC&G insists it did notify the customer service would be terminated, saying in part, quote, because there was no response from the customer, the customer was shut off. They had not notified us of any medical circumstances in the home. Power was restored Friday, the day after Linda died. She was the glue that held everything together. I'm lost now. Newark police are now investigating and PSC and G is reviewing its records. Desiree is focused on her mom's funeral Wednesday morning. In Newark, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.